These are the best. They're so convenient. I wonder what people did before frozen foods. Ice has been used to preserve food since around 1000 BC, when early inhabitants of China would use it to pack primitive ice boxes. Eventually, people recognized ice's ability to preserve foods and began to utilize frozen bodies of water to control the temperature of their foods. The ice blocks would be packed with strong sawdust between them as an insulator. These ice blocks would keep the food cold into the summer months, allowing long-term food preservation. Even though they did not understand the properties of why water became ice and how it was useful to their food, the remarkable properties of water are better known today. A water molecule has one oxygen atom bonded by electrons to two hydrogen atoms. Water is unique in that it has a bent structure because it has four additional valence electrons. This feature contributes to water expanding when frozen. In addition to the extra electrons, Oxygen also has more protons, giving it a greater positive charge. Because of this positive charge, the negatively charged electrons are not equally shared. The electrons bonding with hydrogen spend more time with the oxygen. This creates positively and negatively charged regions on the water molecule, which can interact with charged regions on other water molecules. This interaction is called hydrogen bonding. In large part, we have Clarence Birdseye to thank for the frozen food we know and love today. Bird's Eye became fascinated with the Canadian fisherman's way of preserving fish. Once a fish was caught, it froze almost instantaneously in the below zero temperatures of the Canadian winter. When the fish was cooked months later, it tasted very close to freshly caught fish. Bird's Eye was sparked with the idea of flash freezing. Flash freezing allowed for the mass production of frozen foods. Bird's Eye invented the double belt freezer, which froze the fish just as quickly as the fish he saw freeze in Canada. Eventually, Bird's Eye's flash freezing concept was applied to foods beyond fish. This technology eventually led to the invention of frozen TV dinners that could be comprised of multiple foods, including a main dish, side dish, and even a dessert, which could be picked up frozen at the grocery store and then prepared later at home. While frozen TV dinners revolutionized convenient foods, the foods were flash frozen and often came in frozen blocks. Today, freezing technology has addressed that issue by utilizing a process called individually quick frozen, or IQF. When freezing foods, the water in the food becomes ice. Water is unique in that it expands when frozen. In food, the larger the ice crystals, the more likely to disrupt the food matrix and lower the food quality. In IQF products, the water freezes very quickly and thus, smaller ice crystals form. Since the products are frozen individually, the products don't get frozen together and can be separated or poured very easily. Although IQF has led to high quality food products, further developments have been made in academia. High pressure non-freezing is a technique that puts the food product under high pressure and low temperatures, freezing the food with no ice crystal formation. This leads to even higher quality food products. Someday, we might even be able to use high pressure freezers at home to store our foods with no ice crystal formation. But hey, the future is not crystal clear. <laughs>